Hey guys, this is Cody from Dropping Her Scar Audio. Uh, we're here today bringing you another amplifier test here with our SMD Demore Engineering Amplifier Dyno. Uh, today on our bench, we have B2 Audio M1S. This was sent in uh, by Jack to be tested. Uh, we're going to get it on the bench here and see what it does. First, we'll give you a quick walkthrough of what we got here, how we're, how we're hooked up, and let y'all see what's going on. All right, power wise here, I'm using a bank of 14. Uh, excess power s1400s this is a smaller version the same size but less capa less reserve capacity than the d1400 so this isn't going to have the capacity you guys uh, some of you guys have thought um, i expect we're going to be starting in the 15 to 15 5 volt range um, and i expect to see drop of this m1s down into the 13 somewhere uh, just give you guys, we got some Toolmaker bus bars wired up, wired up. Hey, we're using all Sky High Car Audio 2 watt OFC wire, 2 watt copper lugs uh, connector. You got Anderson, the, our 4 watt Anderson connectors. Uh, I've got my Fluke 355 here. We're gonna uh, grab a couple clamp numbers. I'll explain a little more about that later. And here on this M1S, we have triple one watt power and grounds. Um, we're using our Toolmaker uh, 4 watt to one watt reducers here. Head units wired up, got our dropping hertz RCAs, and then over to our dyno. Um, all right, we're just gonna get straight to the testing and see how it does. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna run nine total tests. Uh, we may actually drop it below one ohm. I uh, wasn't told anything about it, so but we might do it anyway. Um, we're gonna start in certified, go to uncertified, then dynamic, and see how it does. Oops, passed it. All right, certified dyno mode, mono, drop it straight down to one ohm. Let's see, let's get our track over here. All right, we're on track four. Amplifier has already been set with the 10 dB overlap, and we're good to go. Dyno. Yeah, I apologize if this isn't the best quality video. I'm taking this with my phone. All right, you see our starting voltage. Let's see if we can get a little focus here. 14.71 starting. And here we go. All right, not too bad here. 7304, 13.3 volts. Uh, I haven't checked this amp lately. I think it's rated right in the 7K range. Um, I can double check that later. All right, not too bad there. Drop down to 13.3 volts, 7300 watts. Very solid amplifier. All right. All right, let me go get my charger on. Keep, it, keep this thing charged up between runs. I know this thing I have, when I first turned it on, amplifier did kick in to protect. Uh, it's over 16 volts, so I had to cut, uh, cut the charger off. All right, and here we are, certified 2 ohm. Forty-four twenty-three, thirteen point eight five, and four ohm. Twenty-four eighty-three, four ohm, fourteen point one six. All right, and we're gonna, we're really gonna test this battery bank. It's the best I've been really able to support and hold 14 volts is up to about a 5K. Um, this uh, being a little over 7,000 watt amplifier is really pushing it. So we're gonna test the battery bank out, but we're gonna keep going here. All right, this is gonna be uncertified at one ohm. And one thing, this is, we're testing this with a 40 Hertz track as well. This is uncertified one ohm, run to clipping. All 
7428, 13.31. Very, very nice. Definitely like what we're seeing here. All right, this is going to be our two ohm run. And our four ohm run. All right, we're going to get into dynamic testing now. Let's see where see what she's got. The dynamic burst one ohm. Let's go check the track. All right, here's dynamic at one ohm. Nice. And get her down to two ohm. Do my best to not talk too much throughout this. Keep this video as short as possible. We're already going on seven minutes. All right, solid numbers here. And this is why we have our flute clamp meter here. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clamp our amperage consumption. You know what, I'm gonna run this live. And we'll keep our eye over here on the clamp meter. Let's reset it. Keep our eyes here on the clamp. All right, we just saw 741 amps right when I hit pause. Uh, this makes a lot more sense. 741, and we have 7,890 watts at 13.91. All right, these numbers make a little more sense for us. We got 741 by 13.91. All right, on paper, this should be, if you take volt, take volt amps, this would be 10,307 watts. But we know that's not true, so we're going to take our reading here of 7890 divided by 10,307. And we find out at 1 ohm, this B2M1S, we have an efficiency here of just over 76%. Pretty solid amp. Now again, accuracy-wise, right, this is not going to be 100% accurate, but this is the best I can do for this test. Uh, so, I mean, I just take it with a grain of salt. That's the best. Those are the best numbers I can get. All right. All right, again, guys, this was the B2 Audio M1S. Uh, this is Cody from Dropping Hard Scar Audio. Hope you guys enjoy the results.